Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a noise glitch video effect. Now before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say if you guys are on Instagram, check me out. I've been posting a lot of pictures. I definitely always enjoy chatting with you guys on there. We're almost at 3000, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out for more. But for this tutorial, you guys have seemed to like my Photoshop glitch effect tutorials a lot. I've got a lot of requests for this. So this is what it's going to look like to create a simple noise glitch except in Premiere on a video clip. So in order to do this effect, I'll click and I'll drag my clip on the timeline. I'm gonna delete the audio track because I don't want it. And then you also wanna create a new adjustment layer. So highlight your project media bin, and then go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. Press OK, and now you should see that pop up in your media bin as well, and then you can drag that on top of your video clip. So now you have the adjustment layer on top of the video clip, and then you wanna open up your effects panel and you should find underneath the video effects folder another folder called distort and under these distortion effects you should find one called wave warp this is the one you want to click and drag onto your adjustment layer so this is very similar to the wave filter in photoshop however there's a few other adjustments that you can use and in this case the wave actually undulates up and down so what you want to do is head over to your wave type and turn it to noise. This is gonna be a lot more jagged and glitchy looking than many of the other sine or square triangle waves. Next, you want to adjust the wave height and width so that it looks nice for your image. So the width is how spread apart all these different noise waves are, and then the height is how separated things are. So a height closer to zero is no glitch, and then 10 is a little bit, and so on. So we're gonna edit each of these for each different little glitch frame. But essentially we wanna just get the basics down here. Now the pinning is so that you don't get any of this black edges because there's not any photo there. Uh, it's kinda like stretching the edges. So pin it to all edges. That way you have a clean video still and the glitch isn't messing up the border. And once you're happy with your glitch frame, remember this is only gonna be held for one frame, you want to zoom into your adjustment layer, press C on your keyboard to get to the cut shortcut tool, and then ch make one chop there, move the arrow key over to the right, make another cut there, and then press V to get back to your move or select tool. Remember these are all on the left hand side here as well. And then delete everything but that one frame. And what you're actually going to do is take that frame and copy it over a couple times. So. I'll copy it over five times and you don't have to worry about how they're spaced. You can kind of randomly space them and then when you go play them back you can adjust the spacing so that the timing and the feel of it is just how you want. So now what we're going to do is adjust each of these different glitches. So for the first one let's lower the wave height because the glitch is just starting. So just it's just starting to glitch up and then one frame later let's take the adjustment layer and let's make the wave way higher. Let's actually set the blending mode of this to something like darker color, just to add some variety to the glitch. And then if you guys wanna get some color going in on the glitch, you can head back over to the right hand side to the Lumetri color tab. And then in the curves adjustment, open up something like the red color channel, and then turn down the highlights of the red color channel so you're essentially drawing the red out of the highlights which gives you that bluish look and then you can pull some red into the shadows to give you some more red so that'll give you a bit of a glitchy split color channel look even though it's not really splitting the color channels i'll save that for future tutorials and let's do the same thing and customize each one of these glitches another thing you can play with aside from the blending mode and the color and all that is the wave type like i said earlier noise is the most glitchy however if you alternate maybe one or two of the frames to be something like smooth noise, uh, you can get maybe a bit of a different effect. And for the last frame, I'll actually take the direction instead of being 90 degrees vertical up and down, I'll make it more horizontal and I'll lower the wave height a bit because the glitch is ending at this point, you could say. So let's play that back and see how it looks now that all of them are customized. So you can see it creates a cool little, just quick couple seconds of glitch and jitter. And really the possibilities are endless for you to time this out and copy and paste it to different sections of the video. 
So you could move around these different frames until you get something that feels just how you want. Usually I like to stagger it and then have one last glitch at the end, kind of like a, a little stutter or delay. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, you can copy this, Command C, paste it on another section of the clip if you want, and then just play around with it. Once you get the main adjustment layer going, you can chop it up and remix it however you want for your clip. So that's how to create a quick little noise glitch effect in Premiere Pro. Definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more tutorials on Photoshop and Premiere. Definitely some more Premiere glitches, so some different techniques you can use to glitch up your photos. If you guys like this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments or what you want to see. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.